Hello everyone. Today's tutorial will be how to crochet the waffle stitch dishcloth. For this you will need a number four worsted weight cotton yarn, scissors, a yarn needle, and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. We will begin by making a chain of 34. We will now double crochet in the third chain from the hook. We will double crochet in each remaining chain across for a total of 32 double crochets. To start round two, we'll chain two and turn our work. We will now front post double crochet in the first stitch. To do this, we will go around the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through final two loops. We will now double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Repeat the sequence of one front post double crochet followed by two double crochet until there are two stitches remaining in the row. We are now at the end of our round and we have two stitches remaining. We will place a front post double crochet in the next stitch. Followed by a double crochet in the last stitch. Chain two and turn your work. Double crochet in the first stitch. Front post double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next stitch. Front post double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next stitch. 
front post double crochet in the next two stitches. We will repeat the sequence of one double crochet followed by two front post double crochets until two stitches remain in the row. When we reach the end of the round, we will place one double crochet in each of the last two stitches. Chain two and turn your work. This is what it looks like at this point. We will now repeat rounds two and three six more times, then repeat round two once more. This is how it should look after round five. For the first side of the border round, we will be working and the ends of the previous rounds, which are the beginning and end chain twos and double crochets. You will first finish off your working yarn and change it to your border collar. Chain one, but do not turn. Place one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by two single crochets in the next stitch. Repeat this sequence of one single crochet, followed by two single crochet, until you reach the corner. You should have 24 single crochets in this round. Working on the next side, we will start by placing two single crochets in the first stitch. We will then place one single crochet in each of the next 30 stitches. In the last stitch, we will place two single crochets. You should have 34 single crochets in this row. We will be working round three the same as we did in round one by working in the chain twos and the double crochets. We will start out by placing one single crochet in the first stitch followed by two single crochets in the next stitch. We will repeat this sequence of one single crochet followed by two single crochets until we reach the end of the round. You should have 24 single crochets for this round. For the fourth and final side, we will start by placing two single crochets in the first stitch. We will follow that by one single crochet in the next 30 stitches. We will then place two single crochets in the last stitch. You should have 34 single crochets total for this round. We will now slip stitch into the first stitch to join 
cut your yarn and weave in all ends. Here are a couple examples of the finished dishcloth. As you can see, the solid color shows the waffle stitch pattern better than the variegated. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos.